the Porsche engineers knew exactly what their objective was, to make the new 911 GT2 RS the most powerful Porsche for the road. Objective achieved. The water-cooled six-cylinder bi-turbo Boxster engine with four-valve technology, variable turbine geometry, VTG, and VarioCam Plus delivers its power through the rear axle. From its 3.6-liter capacity, it generates an enormous 620 horsepower at an engine speed of 6,500 RPM and 700 newton meters between 2,250 and 5,500 RPM. Couple this with a weight reduction, compared to the GT2, of 70 kilograms from the clever use of carbon, aluminum, polycarbonate, and a single-mass flywheel, you have a class-leading weight-to-power ratio of 2.21 kilograms per horsepower. Carbon elements have been used wherever possible, including the front lid, spoiler lip, and rear wing. Even the mud flaps are available in carbon as an option. These not only save weight, but their distinctive matte black finish allows the 911 GT2 RS to be easily recognized when compared to the 911 GT2.
The original Super Sports was a limited run 3 liter created in the 1930s to break performance records. The Continental Super Sports, armed with pure energy and adrenaline, is a continuation of Bentley's attitude towards performance and pursuit of new extremes. To create the fastest, most powerful Bentley ever would require a very special type of engine. The result is a 6-liter flex-fuel twin turbocharged W12, producing a staggering 800 newton meters of torque. Not only is this engine immensely powerful, it is also possible to run it on E85 biofuel. A smoked steel finish features prominently on the detailing of the Supersport's minimalist body. Its bonnet vents, matrix grille, and headlight surrounds all benefit from a technique called physical vapor deposition, which is usually associated with the high quality finish found on luxury watches.
Suspect has left the road, headed behind the hotel.